Hi, I'm international publicist Michelle Tennant Nicholson. I'm also the chief creative officer at wasabipublicity.com. I write at thriveglobal.com, Ariana Huffington's passion project on how to thrive in life. This is my Thrive in Five video series. Today I have Mark Sharp with me. I've got five questions in five minutes and you'll have 45 seconds each to answer. So um, I appreciate you playing the game with me, Mark. All right. It's a great, yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm gonna let him answer his first question in just a minute. I just wanted to say about the pitching, you should pitch yourself like this. You should practice talking about yourself in 45 seconds. It's what I train people to do every day at Wasabi Publicity and pitchrate.com, which is my personal passion project. It's a media networking site. So Mark, thank you for making a difference on the planet. Okay, thank you for playing. Our first question is, in 45 seconds, pitch me on why you make a difference. Okay, well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to do this. And um, I, I think the best way to make a difference is I am, my thing is I'm, a, I'm all about relationships and professionally I'm a psychologist. And so I do a lot of therapy with couples who are having trouble. And I think the way I really make a difference is I make a big deal out of how some of our traditional psychological ways of looking at things have screwed up relationships. Cause our traditional psychology is very individually focused. And when people approach relationship problems from that perspective, it's oftentimes um, problematic, right? So I really incorporate that into the work I do, but I also try to do education for people about, you really need to be able to take a relational perspective. And our society is not good on that. We're good individualists. Um, there's actually some stats out there that um, if you go into individual therapy for a relational problem, marriage, because the outcome of divorce is more likely than not. I mean, it, it actually goes up. And so um, that's, it's a piece of what I'm trying to do. The other thing I'm trying to do is I'm really trying to educate people early on. And this is a new, a new focus for me. I wrote a book about it and I've got a, a class coming up to kind of help singles figure out how to get into a healthy relationship in the first place. Well, and then why would singles who want to get into a healthy relationship find you credible and want to pay attention to you? Um, well, it's kind of what I've done and thought about for the last, do I have to say how many years? It's been a long time. Yes, I'll, I've been doing PR for 31 years. <laughs> yeah, I've been years. doing this almost, I've been doing this uh, 35 years. And so, okay, perfect. And um, my focus has really been on relationships and I haven't, I mean, a, a piece of what sort of drove me toward the singles end is my recognizing that if a lot of people had gotten, had known more and done a better job of putting stuff together in the first place, they wouldn't actually be seeing me. So I'm working out, working out of my first job with my second job, right? Nice. Um, okay. So the other piece is, I mean, I, um, on the personal end, um, even though I've been kind of a relationship focused person, I didn't get married for the first time until I was in my forties. And so, but I, but in doing that, I also really recognized some of the stuff I needed to do for myself. And when I really made that transition, it allowed me to get into a relationship. So I took the knowledge of the relationships and then what you need to do to yourself to prepare for that. Um, so there's the professional piece, which is what I've been trained at. And then I think she got a pretty good story about getting into relationship myself. So nice. Yeah, I, I, people love those types of stories, right? Yeah. So tell me about your message overall, what would make a difference for me today and the people that I meet in my own marriage? What, what inside your message to the world would make a difference for me today? Um, the main thing about, I mean, Wow. Zero it down to one thing. 40 yeah. Minutes. What's at the end of the day, what's the most important thing? What's, what's the, the most, most important thing, thing, you know, for your relationship and for my relationship? Right. The most important attitude probably people can take is that 99% of what um, creates problems in relationships isn't about right and wrong. It's about differences and adapting to it. Okay. Nice. And that's not to ignore the fact that people do things that are wrong or hurtful or something in relationships, but um, the vast majority of the time, 
those are actually poor adaptations to differences they haven't settled in the first place. And um, when people get struggled into who's right, who's wrong, that tends to make things spin out of control. So the best thing to do is to remember that you are your difference and you bring differences um, to each other, to, to the relationship and um, how you um, address that really affects the quality of the relationship. Nice. There's, there's another- Mark how, Mark, how can people connect with you? Um, well, I have a, I have a practice in, uh, in, in Illinois. Um, I've got a website. My, um, my practice is called the Aiki Relationship Institute, which is another story. Aiki, I borrowed from the martial art I do, Aikido, which I think has relationship applications. And um, so they can find me online at uh, Aiki, it's A-I-K-I-relationships.com. Um, that's probably the best way to get a hold of me. Awesome. Thanks so much for playing today. Thank you for having me and allowing me to play. Yeah.